Frequently getting up fail to update message on your voice app. Well, I too had to deal with this issue a few times. After testing a lot of troubleshooting steps, I found a couple of fixes that work. So stick around till the end of this video to find the one that works for you. Even if you can't record and store all your events on an SD card installed on your Wise Cam, a Wise Cam Plus subscription is vital for storing clips on the Wise Cloud. Wise provides a 30 day Wise Cam Plus subscription for a new Wise account. So, if your subscription has expired, you will no longer be able to upload footage to the cloud. So, it is wise to check and verify that your WISE subscription is up and running if you come across any such issues with the upload. You can do just that through the WISE app by going to the Account tab and selecting Services. Next, select Camp Plus to check the status of your subscriptions. A thing to note is that Camp Plus only supports one camera per subscription. So, if you have multiple cameras that require contact with the Wise Cloud, you will need to purchase the Cam Unlimited subscription. For the most part, if your camera or the Wise app fails to upload the footage to the cloud, the network is likely the issue. Instability with the network can lead to a ton of issues. So, it's best to check the status of the network first and foremost. Running a speed testing application like Ookla on your phone or even a simple Google search for speed tests should fetch you results that you can work with. If you come across any such issues like low speeds or high latency, try refreshing your network before calling in your service provider. A power cycle test should do wonders here, since doing so will not only refresh the system internals of your router but also get rid of any static charges. All you need to do is unplug the router from the power supply and plug it back in after a minute. Run the test once again and check if everything's fine now. If you're still experiencing issues, try connecting your Wise camera to a different network. Just make sure to connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band since Wise cameras, even the Wise Cam V4, does not support the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. Apart from the subscription and network troubles, the Wise app also has a responsibility of making sure that the recorded clips are backed up to the Wise servers. Going through each setting and app configuration to nail down on the issue on the Wise app can be tedious. So, I recommend that you simply uninstall the Wise app from your phone and reinstall it back again. This is an all-in-one step that helps ensure that your setting configurations are completely reset, the app cache gets completely refreshed, your app stays on the latest available version and it also effectively gets rid of any bugs associated with the app. Just keep your WISE credentials handy as you will need to log back to your WISE account after reinstalling the app. There's absolutely nothing fancy that you need to do here. Just uninstall the application from your device, then go to the App Store on your phone and reinstall the same Wise app. Take extra care to install the official app. Then log back into your Wise account and you're good to go. All your previously bad cameras, including your Wise Cam V4, will be restored as well. Following this, I also recommend that you check for any pending firmware updates for your Wise camera. Since we have already reinstalled the app, you can be rest assured that your camera will get the latest available firmware it requires if eligible. Just open the Wise app and head over to the camera setting tab of your camera and then device info. Tap on the firmware version and then tap on update to execute any pending updates. If you can't see an update button, then your camera is already running on the most current version. Once done, reboot your camera and check if your issues persist. Now, if your upload situation with the Wise camera still looks bleak, even after installing a fresh copy of the Wise app and updating your camera to its latest available firmware, you can look into removing your Wise camera from your Wise account and adding it back again from scratch. This will help reset the complete settings configuration of your camera. To do so, open the Edit tab from the top right corner of the homepage and select Edit Devices. 
From here, tap on the red delete icon and confirm your selection to remove the Voice Cam V4 from the app. Now, before adding your camera back again to your Voice account, make sure to factory reset the camera. A reset will take care of the existing bugs and errors as well as revert all the system settings to the factory defaults, essentially giving you a fresh slate to work with again. To factory reset your Vice Cam V4, press and hold the setup button located under the Vice camera for about 10 seconds or until the camera's LED turns solid red. The camera should now show a blinking LED indicating that the camera's reset process is complete. Add and set up your Cam V4 back to the app and check for the issue now. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video regarding fixing a Vice Cam V4's uploading issues with the Vice servers. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Vice Cam content like this.